So 121, question is done to which of the following is the least helpful in your clinical examination of this patient? The least helpful in clinical examination of this patient. Caliber tap high spec test, ask patient to look up for one minute and assessing the speech with prolonged counting test for diplopia. Okay, so most probably this is the case of myasthenia gravis. A 30 year old woman attends a work in the medical center accompanied by her friend who is concerned since he has noticed the patient has developed an occasional slurring of speech and associated with reduced facial expression. The patient helps uh, um, herself also complains of intermittent regurgitation of food through her nose and situation that he has found to be irritably embracing. She also reported reports difficulty reading and complaints of double vision after a short period of time when attempting to read a book. Her symptoms when to be worst at the end of the day. So symptom is worst at the end of the day. The patient maintained that she has always been in good health and has not seen a doctor for over the 10 years. She's not any medication in non-smoker. So which of the following would be the least helpful in your clinical examination of this patient? So which one is the answer? So glabular, glabular tap, high spec test, ask patient to look up for one minute, assessing speech with prolonged counting, and testing for diplopia. Maybe Galibert tip. Hmm. Galibert tip. Okay, next question is Tolajai. Okay. So 122. Question number is, what is the diagnosis most suggested by his this clinical picture? So myasthenia gravis, GVS, portalism, C. difficile, and organophosphate poisoning. Staphylococcus aureus is cultured from the cutaneous abscess. So most probably this is a case of botulism. Maybe this uh, patient, IV drug abuser, uh, for this reason here, maybe present the staphylococcal abscess and when from abscess, then uh, toxin also produce in case of botulism. Okay, that's another question. As the CT2 uh, on call, you are asked to review a previously well, previously well 30 years old farmer on the ward. He was admitted with severe lower respiratory infection post influenza. And after multiple cutaneous abscess were noted, he was commenced on fluoxacillin and gentamicin. According to the notes, his neurological examination was entirely normal. You are asked to see him by the nurse some 48 hours later as he is complaining of limb weakness and the nurses note that he has ptosis with lack of facial expression and his saturation are dipping below 90%. His hyperventilation and on examination, it appears that the degree of limb weakness and fluctuates somewhat. Deep tender reflex and sensation are preserved. So, <clears throat> hemoglobin 12.4, uh, WBC 13.1, platelet, sodium, potassium, creatine. Okay. So, Staphylococcus aureus is cultured from the cutaneous abscess. What is the most diagnosis uh, most suggested by this clinical picture? Myasthenia, GVS, portalism, C. difficile, and organophosphate poisoning. So cutaneous abscess, fluoxacillin and gentapache, and generally normal, a complete limb weakness and nerves, no dead ptosis and lack of facial expression. And saturation is dropping 90%. So this is a case of botulism. Hmm. A descending paralysis can be seen in the botulism. Here is the skin abscess, maybe the source of infection, right? <clears throat> 121. 121. Okay. 
So now the question is, uh, what is the most likely diagnosis? Tuberculosis meningitis, IIH, keratocavernous fistula, primary intracerebral lymphoma, and bilateral optic nerve glioma. Okay. So a 23 year old woman uh, is referred to the neurology clinic with a six month history of diffuse headache. So 23 diffuse headache, six month history. Uh, this initially began as the occasional pain occurring only at a certain times during the week. So only at a certain time. It has increased and however, to the points where it is continuous. She noticed that the pain is worse in the morning and he has had some mild nausea. So pain is increased at the morning and he has some nausea. She also describes some graying of her vision on exertion or bending down to pick something up from the floor. She has a past medical history of depression and is taking fluoxetine for this. Also, she takes oral contraceptive pill and tetracycline for his acne. So, oral contraceptive pill and tetracycline for acne. She is grossly uh, papilledema affecting his both eyes and so significant enlargement of the blight spot with diplopia and lateral gas palsy. So body mass index 32, that is raised body weight, and there are no other neurological sign. MRI skin is the brain is far from, which shows no space occupying lesion. Cerebrospinal fluid analysis demonstrate opening pressure 33, that is raised. CSF analysis is shown below. Mm, white cell count is less than one, RBC less than one, glucose point one, protein 0.3. So, what is the most likely diagnosis? Diagnosis is tiver, tiver IH. IH, right? IH. Yes, this is the case of IH. At this fact, is there OCP and intracycline? Intracycline, yes, right. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Where is the most likely site of this lesion? Most likely site of this lesion, okay. This is the points. You are asked to review a 72 years old man with neurology clinic. He has a past medical history of hypertension for which he takes lisinopril and amlodipine. Uh, where is a convergent squint? Convergent squint, not divergent, convergent squint and left-sided facial weakness. Convergent squint, squint means what? Uh, means uh, convergent squint, means lateral rectus paralyzed, and left-sided facial weakness, left-sided facial weakness. So, convergent squint and left-sided facial weakness, facial nerve, that means six and seven, two nerve. Yeah. So, medulla. Um, the location is? Medullary uh, junction. Pond, pond, that means pons. Hmm. Uh, this this is a Weber syndrome, most probably. Am I right? Weber syndrome. In Weber, third nerve palsy or no? Uh, that means uh, just kiche bolne apna kalam. Confused. Hmm, confused. Yeah. Pons or medulla? Which one? Which one of the site of patient? I will go for pawns. Pawns, most probably. Uh, seventh and seventh and seventh and seventh and six. Hmm. Nucleus is located on the pawns, but a nerve can uh, exist for medullary junction. Okay, pawns. Mm -hmm. This is the pawns. So uh, sixth nerve nucleus is en encircled by the seventh nerve fibers in the pawns, right? This is the point. And so pon pontan lesion of the seventh cranial nerve are often associated with the convergent squint due to lateral rectus palsy. Causes include the uh, pontan tumor such as glioma and demyelination due to multiple sclerosis and vascular lesion, right? So 125, question number. What is the most likely underlying 
diagnosis. So metastatic infiltration of the brachial plexus, radiation plexopathy, cervical ribs, syringomyelia, uh, mono, uh, monomelic motor neuron disease. Okay, diagnosis. 37 year old woman underwent a resection of a carcinoma of her left breast two years ago. So two years ago, carcinoma of the left breast was resected. She was given post-operative radiotherapy for the, and general practitioner has referred her for a evaluation of a painful left arm associated with weakness. So left arm painful and weakness. On examination in his clinic, uh, in the clinic, she is alert and anxious. The left palpable fissure is slightly smaller than the right. Left palpable fissure is slightly smaller than the right. That means Horner syndrome. Ocular movement, uh, movements are metapistosis. Ocular movement, however, are normal. The left pupil is smaller than the right. So facial expression is normal as are swallow and speech also. The small muscles of the left hand was wasted and weak. A small muscle wasted and weak. Okay, lower part of brachial flex plexus might, might be involved. Uh, clawing is present and particularly affecting the left ring and middle finger. Clawing, that means ulnar nerve involved. Hypo is mm -hmm. to pinprick sensation on the ulnar border of the left hand of the forearm. So what is the most likely underlying diagnosis? Metastatic infiltration of the brachial plexus, radiation, plexopathy, cervical ribs, syringomyelia, and motor neuron disease. Is it for radiation plexopathy? Or metastatic infiltration. Hmm. So usually radiation is related to most probably pulmonary issue, pulmonary fibrosis like that. And brachial plexus involved mm -hmm. is related to metastatic infiltration, most probably. Okay, metastatic infiltration. I think so, yeah. So this is the answer. The lesion localized to this to the lower brachial plexus since the small muscles of the hands are wasted and weak. So clawing involvement, all fingers, but predominantly the fourth and fifth. No fasciculations are mentioned. Sensory loss is in the C8 and C1, T1 distribution. And associated with Horner syndrome points to the involvement of the T1 throat. Okay, so radiation exposure, uh, plexopathy usually occurs after the dose of more than 600, oh, more than 600, patient getting uh, four, four, 4,000, 4, right. More than 6,000 have been used and involves the upper brachial plexus, involve the upper, upper brachial plexus, not lower brachial part. This is usually painless and associated with the lymphedema, lymphedema, painless, Painless and associated with the limb edema. Okay. 126. So here is the question. Choose the most likely diagnosis. Fibromuscular dysplasia, MELS, homocystinuria, febris, myocardial disease. Okay. Our question is a 16 year old male presented to the hospital with happiness of the left upper and lower limbs 24 hours duration. Male patient, 26, okay. He was known to have high blood pressure from the age of 10 years and was taking irregular treatment. High blood pressure from the age of 10 years, okay. Uh, he couldn't uh, participate his, uh, in his school sports since early childhood, since he would get severe and sharp burning pain in his limb or running. That means myocardial disease, most probably. On examination, there was neither limb enlargement nor clubbing. There were red muscles, red, red muscles and papules around the umbilicus. And macules, sorry. Macules, macules, sorry. Macules and papules around the umbilicus, which par partially blanched on pressure. Blood pressure 150 by hundreds, and he was alert and his cognition was normal. Fundy rebuilt, uh, arteriovenous nipping and soft exudates. Uh, 
Central nervous system examination revealed mild left-sided upper motor neuron facial palsy and mild left-sided hemiparesis with no sensory or cerebral deficit. Okay, here hemoglobin 10, that means reduced, and WBC, platelet, urea, creatinine, raised, 270. CT of the uh, hand revealed the hypodense lesion in the right subcortical white matter, hypochondrical lesion, right subcortical white matter. Okay, what is the diagnosis? Fibromuscular dysplasia, no. Fibromuscular no. Homocystinuria, no. In case of homocystinuria, they might be told about a dislocation of the lens. Fibrid is the most. Yeah. yeah. Fibrid is the answer. Mm. Yes, Fibrid is the most. Peristasis in your age. and uh, that uh, kidney involvement. High blood pressure and uh, that angiokeratoma that lesions in my cure. Hmm. Acules, right? Angiokeratoma. <clears throat> so, Fabris is the answer, the X link receptor. It's usually become manifested clinically in the child or adolescence with intermittent lancinating pain of the extremities, intermittent lancinating pain. And this is manifest as childhood or adolescence. This pain is evoked by the vigorous exercise and hot weather or febrile illness. Febrile disease, febrile illness, okay. A diffuse vascular involvement leads to hypertension and cardiomegaly, kidney disease, and thrombotic infraction occur in various viscera. In the present example, the patient has suffered a right-sided capsular infraction and characteristic angiokeratoma, capsular infraction, angiokeratoma, and tend to most prominent periumbilically. So patient has macules around the umbilicus, okay? The primary deficit in this is in the enzyme of alpha-galactosidase, alpha-galactosidase A. And accumulation of the uh, ceramide trihexocyte in the damaged viscera and enzyme replacement leads to improvement the kidney and other organ function, okay? So here we can read about the myocardial disease. It is usually present with the muscle cramp on exercise. Muscle cramp on exercise. A stroke is not seen in this case, disease, and it is glycogen storage myopathy secondary to deficient of the myo, uh, myophosphorylase. So myophosphorylase deficiency, uh, which prevents the conversion of glycogen to glucose six phosphate myophosphorylase deficiency, okay? So muscle pain on exercise or hematoma might be, might be found after exercise. So next question is 127, which of the following isn't audio recommended? Soropinural and libidopa, amantadine, cabargulin, amomorphine, okay? A 52-year-old woman, he's diagnosed with the Parkinson's disease and he has recently started a second family with new partner. He's worried about the dyskinesia associated with libidopa and complication of the lung fibrosis. What he has heard about the other drugs, which of the following as it would be recommended. Ropinural, libidopa, amantadine, cabargulin, epimorphine. Is it ropi ropinural? <laughs> Might be. Ropinur is a non argot yeah, derived. Uh, is a non argot derived dopamine agonist licensed for treatment of Parkinson's disease and most recently for restless leg syndrome. Dopamine agonist may associate with the less on off phenomena than L dopa based therapies although they don't impact on long-term progn prognosis versus L-DOPA. This reduces the fluctuation in the motor function is prominently, potentially more suitable for patient with young family. Okay, next question. So here's the question. Choose the most appropriate intervention. Choose the most appropriate intervention Okay, we just see the arms shown here. Okay, so here only oligoclonal band is negative. 
but MRI bone shows white metal lesion adjacent to the corpus callosum, periventricular region, and might be this a case of MS, R effector positive. Okay. So a 39 year old man is referred to the neurologic outpatient department with a history of several episodes of neurological dysfunction. The first of these dates uh, back two years ago when he had a subacute hemiparesis affecting the right side. So subacute hemiparesis affecting the right side. This lasted for several weeks before uh, before resolving. He was so frightened by this and th th this, and he didn't seek medical service. About six months ago, he uh, six months ago he presented with painful loss of visual acuity in his left eye. This was treated by the ophthalmologist with result after around ten days, and he has since suffered an episodes of vertigo which start just over two months ago with dizziness, vomiting initially, put down to labyrinthitis by his doctor. This again resolved over the period of a couple of weeks, so he no longer feel dizzy. He is able to work uh, unaided uh, for 20 years to his local shop each morning to buy the newspapers. But for the longer distance, he has, has some difficulty with fatigue and leg spasm. So longer distance, fatigue and leg spasm. In which case, he tends to use a stick and he's otherwise symmetrically well. So here is the pale left optic disc. There is the evidence of an apparent pupillary defect. On examination of the eye movement, the right eye failed to adapt when following a visual target across the midline. At the same time, he has nystagmus of his left eye. He has normal accommodation. There are no other cranial nerve abnormalities. Peripheral nervous system examination reveals moderately increased tone in all of four limbs with some non-sustained bits of ankle clonus of both ankles. The plantar downgoing, uh, downgoing bilaterally, there is some unsteadiness on tendon gate, tendon gates examination. Remember, test is negative. Okay, this is the case of MS, I think, and here is present MLF syndrome. Optic okay. neuritis, mm -hmm. internuclear ophthalmoplasia. Yeah, ophthalmoplasia, right. Yeah. Okay, ESR is 32 and rheumatoid factor positive, and MRI shows white metal lesion to white metal lesion adjusted to the corpus callosum and periventricular region. This is the another diagnostic point. But oligoclonal band is not 100% positive. Maybe might be it was present 60%, might be, I'm not sure. Chose the most appropriate intervention. So this is the acute condition. So our plan to in case of acute condition, IV methyl prednisolone, one gram a day for three days. This is the answer. Okay. Comments monthly Natalie Jumab. Why? First, we usually first we try with IV methyl prednisolone when acute condition is subside, then we'll go for uh, not Natalie Jumab. We'll go for uh, first drug was uh, glatirimer. Glatirimer, then let uh, then Natalie Jumab, then Pingolimod. Am I right? Rafi Bhai, kichu bolen? Bhai, I want to net to disturb the switch and I'm here to know. Achha, ita kyanu ala dilo, Natalie Jumab kyanu dilo? Asi, I'm going to talk to you about the question. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you. Tali ki ita Natalie Jumab hi hobe? This man has MS and this uh, the dissemination of events in this and explanation, this. explanation uh -huh. clinical sign, intranuclear ophthalmoplasia. Okay, location of the MRI lesion are all typical for MS, right? Remember that the oligoclonal bands may be negative in a small proportion of the MS patient. 
it is important to remember that if they are detected, it needs to be established whether or not they are present in the serum as they may reflect the systemic or not central nervous system inflammation. It is for, it is for this reason uh, that a serum sample must be taken when CSF is sent for oligoclonal and analysis. Although uh, this man has a mildly elevated ESR, diagnosis is still more likely to be MS. Okay. In case of MS, ESRs like to rest usually. All the available evidence and rheumatoid factor can positive in the proportion of population, more or less the least 4% who, have, who do not have rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis not have low, 4% case positive positive. It is a false positive result in this context. This patient has MS highly active, three drops in, in two years. This is the point, three drops, two years. Mm. This is the point. And he would, don't, would, would be a candidate for one of the newer disease modifying treatment as a Natalie Jumo uh, after taking the Jesse virus antibody. Mm. Relapse and remiss, remission condition. So three relapse, I guess, last two years, she don't know Natalie Jumo, I guess. But acute condition, Amra Hutse, usually Shurukori Hutse, IB methyl prednisone, so be IB the Ura Gamra Ural Divo. To the oral patient tolerate cut in upper, the Tamra Portslam got to session Gulute, tolerate cut in upper orally, Tokon of Chamra, I beat the job. If there is complicated, if there be a glatiramper in the option, then we should go for that glatiramper only. If there will be, there is not, a, not an, an option. If there will be glatiramper, like. According to, use, according, according to the night, according to the first line is uh, uh, for the acute episode, we go methyl and yeah. if you are going to second line, then glatiramer and uh, third line is the talazumab, that is the drug. Mm -hmm. Fourth line is yes, so, uh, in case of progressive multiple sclerosis, uh, progressive, mm -hmm. what is the treatment? Not relapsing limiting in case of progressive. Can I be pretty sure? Mithal pretty sure. Mithal pretty sure. Mithal pretty sure. Or to kiss a ball and air. Acute condition for acute condition. The hoy or a direct can a bolo. The apner Taruce three relapse in two years. Charjuno to Arahute, immunomodulating drug. This is an Amatoja Botamna, the more than two relapse in two years. So, Yamraba interfered with the Tamna? No, no, just go through that nice guideline. A new nice guideline is there for the MS treatment. Just go one, one through. That is hand as guideline Jeta Bose, the Protome acute condition under treat Kurbo, oral prednisolo. Oral. Yes. Oral judice at all tolerate put the Napa at the IB. Pass in the IB. Mm -hmm. One gram kore di ba, oral hotse five hundred milligram kore di ba. Okay, then hotse amra switch kore ba disease modifying drug. So disease modifying drug in modde pratham di ba hotse glatarimer, tar pore di ba hotse jo de ita the kaj na hoy, then hotse natalizumab, tar pore jo de ita the kaj na hoy, then jo fingulimab. So ora to. Yeah. Yena kotha interferon bitter kotha bolle ni. Interferon. Acha, amra to jani fast client hotse interferon beta. One A, one B, a gula se se tar poroche glatimer acetate tar poroche diethyl exactly. glatimer tar funamer. Exactly. Tar first line. Hai, a gula hoche first line. Then second line hoche fingolimate tar poroche natalizumab and altumizumab. A gula hoche second line. Na second line, first line ho, kintu latest je nice guideline jeta dise. Tiye se past medicine jeta amra paise arki. Shekhane kintu age je amader yete jeta lekha se. মানে মাগরাবি रिलेटेड ওটা না একদম ওরা বলে দিয়েছে ঠিক আছে আমি যেটা বলছি আর কি ওইটাই বলছে ওরা ইন্টারফেরন বিটা ইন্টারফেরনটা ক্ষেত্রে খুব একটা প্রায়োরিটি ওরা দেয় না ইন্টারফেরন বেটা যেটা ডাইরেক্ট পারলে গাইডলাইন দিতে শেয়ার করুন যদি স্ক্রিনশট থাকে অথবা আমরা নিজেরা বের করে নিতে পারব হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ সেটাই ওকে নেক্সট যাই 129 সো গিভেন দা লাইকলি ডায়াগনোসিস হুইচ অফ দা ফলোইং ইন্টারভেনশন ইজ মোস্ট লাইকলি to be effective in this case, most likely effective. So, okay, drug gulu now, I'm not going to common. 
a 72 year old man is brought to uh, the elderly care clinic by his wife she is lower limb hatch she is uh, she uh, sorry she is very concerned about his sleep pattern he described the crawling creeping and almost painful feeling affecting his lower limb such as feels the ir 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 irresistible urge to move them absolutely cannot be sleep uh, cannot keep still this is the case of maybe rest leg, leg syndrome so which drug you provide Pramipixel. Pramipixel. Hmm. Dopamine yes. boost. Right. Ropinirol, Pramipixel, Bromocryptin. Pramipixel. Okay. Next question. So, actually, Tirish number will say which of the following is the most appropriate next management step? Most appropriate. So, neurological observation, IV fluid, acyclovir, cephotexim, naloxin, and CT brain, and Fomaginil. Okay. Next, most appropriate management. A 28 year old woman uh, to, with known alcohol abuse and previous history of hematemesis presents with semi and semi conscious. Hematemesis, alcohol abuse, previous history, history of hematemesis presents with semi conscious in the ED. She is resuscitated adequately with fluids. Blood sugar is normal in the ED and she made a recovery over. Ne over the next 24 hours. In the course of her treatment, she was given five milligram diazepam for alcohol withdrawal and IV thiamine. The next morning she was found unresponsive. You check her blood sugar and strand her on her side to the area in place. So sodium, potassium, tucomase 3.3 and urea, okay, creatinine, bilirubin, AS262. ALT 38, gamma GT 59, and glucose 5.8. So which of the which of the following is the most appropriate next management step? Okay, patient with key complaints, you know, hematemesis. Uh, okay, neurological ex observation. What are the other two options? Hmm. Acyclovir, septuagint, naloxin, computed tomography, uh, the brain, and flomagenil. I think. Uh, naloxin? Naloxin, most probably. Alcohol abuse. Um, it may be. Um, then knowledge in opiates related. Complete tomography of CT. But semi unconscious, mm. adequately fluid blood with the poor. Edema, you were thinking of. What? Edema. 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 Mm -hmm. Like this patient is uh, um, is alcoholic or uh, semi unconscious is so upore uh, je like if he fall then uh, any kind of hemorrhage we, we can suspect. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, pe brain hemorrhage hoye chhe kina uh, sort out kora juno amra city korte pari because patient to kono fever ba egula kichu nei. So, you can use acid to be then cephotexim, egula to the other kind. And you can use naloxin, patient to be feature, like opioid pinpoint. You can use it to be a pinpoint people, but you can use it to be a pinpoint people. It is the same, right? CT scan is the same. Okay. Right, data back up now. Both in OJ. Okay, next question. I see 131. So, I can a question about which of the following is the non invasive investigation will be uh, of most diagnostic interest? Non invasive. So, tensile test, EMG, ultrasound, the quadriceps, muscle MRI, and serum lactate post exercise. Okay. So at 20, a 20 year old undergraduate complaints of regular painful muscle cramp, regular 20 years, regular painful muscle cramp and stiffness while playing the cricket for his university or for his university. His symptoms have been presented for at last six years, but the frequency of attack has now become more worse. Uh, become now more worse, impairing, impairing his bowling and cramps last up to 10 minutes are relieved by the rest. 
Recently, he has noticed that his urine is often tea colored. So, examination reveals a no rash with the normal tone, power reflexes, and coordination sensation of the limbs. Uh, hemoglobin 12.4, WBC, platelet, sodium, MCB, sodium, potassium, urea, creatinine, bilirubin, ALT, albumin, alkaline phosphate, all is okay. So, lactate 1.1. Creatinine phosphokinase 880. So, which of the following non-invasive investigation will be will be of most diagnostic interest? Tensilon, EMG, ultrasound of the quadricep, muscle uh, MRI, muscle MRI, and serum lactate post exercise. Serum lactate post exercise. Macardal serum lactate. Yes, macardal disease. Serum lactate post exercise. History of suggested the metabolic pathway. Marcardal syndrome and uh, the type 4 glycogen storage disorder. This disorder is characterized by the muscle phosphorylase deficiency. Symptoms include exercise induced muscle pain and stiffness. Exercise induced muscle pain and stiffness with contractures, uh, the contractures that subset the rest. Myoglobinuria can occur and uh, myoglobinuria can occur. In normal patients, there is substance increase in the serum lactate after exercise but this does not occur in patient with myocardial disease. So normal patient, in normal patient, there is a sustained increase in serum lactate after exercise, sustained increase after exercise, normal partnership entry. But, in, uh, but this, is, this does not occur in patient with myocardial disease. So diagnosis is confirmed by the muscle biopsy, uh, muscle biopsy, which demonstrate the sub uh, sarcolemal uh, glycogen deposition and central um, central migration of the muscle nipple. So sub sarcolemal glycogen deposition and central migration of the muscle nipple. No specific therapy is recommended for the treatment of myocardial. But patients are usually in, instructed to avoid the strenuous exercise once the diagnosis is made. Okay. <clears throat> Which nerve root on the right side of uh, whose nerve root on the right side of his uh, uh, side is affected? Okay. So uh, 60 has uh, 65 year old man complains of limp uh, complaint of a limp in a limp in his right leg that had developed over the last few months associated with pain in his back and down of uh, down the front of his leg. On his mention. Uh, examination of this lower limbs and he had normal tone, a weakness of knee extension and foot eversion and foot dorsiflexion on the right, but full uh, power of power in the other groups and uh, decreased knee reflexes on the right. Decreased knee reflexes on the right, but all other reflexes are present, plantar flexor. Sensation to pin prick and light touch was decreased over the medial part of the right cuff. So, which nerve root on the right side is affected? L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, L4, L4. yes. Knee reflex. L4. L4. Yeah. Okay, next question is. Uh, which one of the following investigation is? Hey, Actually, Wi-Fi problem. Kiar Kodar, five nilam five nerd for a line pina, tar for a ten, ten kodar for five jatsilo tai. Is ultimately going to lap nae this way. The needed connection, I'm on a mother of hospital. Samito Basha, the Hinet name, hospital as to hospital on it name, and put how wife a connection in it name on the hand. Act of Halo Mordem, Halo Mordem on a show and that's good to part. On a show, Amito Mordem the Halona Hule Internet Katsko. I mean, Mordem Nisi Balo Tainisi. Yes, Abner. Provider, internet provider, eh? Or as it a core, Shedata Taran take a machine take out the upner comedy. Into Amar Dekaje, the way 
ইন্টারনেট যে মডেম তো আছে ওই কমাই দেয় আচ্ছা বাংলাদেশে একটু সমস্যা ইন্টারনেট অনেক সময় इवन আমি হচ্ছে জাস্ট আমার জুম মিটিং ছাড়া এখন কিছু চলতেছে না সবই বাসার অফ ঠিক আছে তাও আমি সংযোগ পাই না তার মানে কি এটা তো কি বোঝায় এবং 10 এপিএস আমি নাও 10 আগে 5 দিয়ে চালাইছি যা এখন 10 নাও তো তাই কোনো লাভ নাই एंटीबॉडीज A 48-year-old librarian complains of clumsiness of her right hand with deterioration in handwriting. Her symptoms have um, uh, have have been present for the last three months, and she thinks they began after an influenza-like illness. More recently, she also has a sensation of the world spinning around the heart. So cranial nerve examination demonstrates reduced, uh, uh, reduced hearing on the right, reduced hearing on the right, and diminished. So kichu koran nai, wife at Jamalai asi apal to. Hello. Hey yes. Hey, I don't know how to get to the हैंड रईटिंग Her symptoms have been present for the last three months, and she thinks they began after an influenza-like illness. So more recently, she also uh, has a sensation of the world spinning around her. So cranial nerve examination demonstrates reduced hearing on the right and diminished sensation on the right side of her face and absent corneal reflex. So on examination of his limbs, and there is the impairment of finger nose coordination in the right upper limbs with impaired rapid altering movement of the right hand. So that means cerebellar involved here. Blood test, blood pressure is uh, one hundred forty-one by eighty-two, and with pulse seventy beat per beat per minute regular. Which one of the following investigation most appropriate diagnostic interest? So, uh, influenza serology. Mm -hmm. audiometry mri imaging of the brain good uh, csf examination for no paraneoplastic antibodies uh, paraneoplastic antibodies but world spinning around heart eta the ki bujhailo tamani cerebral syndrome ache mane or prithibi ghurche o chap pashe एंटीबॉडी Paraneoplastic cerebellar degeneration can occur sub sub acutely on uh, uh, or expect to see the symmetrical sign hmm. rather than very focal abnormality seen here. Okay, next question. Uh, which one of the following tests is most likely to establish the diagnosis in this case? So, कुन्ता हमरा कोर्बो लिबिडोपा चैलेंजिंग टेस्ट 
free serum copper, total serum copper, serum ceruloplasmin, uh, molecular uh, genetic analysis for CAG repeat Huntington gene, molecular genetic analysis, gene coding for superoxide dismutase one, molecular genetic analysis to uh, identify a mutation in the gene coding for dystrophin. Okay, so 19 year old uh, secretary, uh, just, you know, uh, secretary presence within one year history of progressive slowness of walking and tremor in his arms. So progressive slowness and tremor in his arm, his arms. He was sought for his job after this line manager complained of an increasing num number of mistakes at work. A general lack of motivation and irritable nature. Okay. And in his family history, his mother is alive and well. His father committed suicide in his early 40s. And he has one younger sister who is alive, alive and well. On examination, he is noted uh, to be in a uh, uh, unkept state with uh, decreased facial expression. His minimal state examination was 22 out of 30. Eye examination normal, tone was increased in the limbs uh, with decreased speed and amplitude of repeated fine finger movement. So decreased speed and amplitude of repetitive, repetitive fine finger movement. And action tremor was noted. Which one of the following tests is most likely to establish the diagnosis in this case? So uh, hunting from uh, hunting. The hunting the family history, young age, and uh, father has suicidal attempt. Uh, mm -hmm. Family history, a chone, car, hoche, facial grime, sebum, hati jet, tremor jetase, ebum hoche, repetitive finger movement. It will all are characteristic feature for this uh, Huntington disease. Mm. So molecular genetic analysis for CAG repeated in hunting disease. It a whole possibility. Mm. It is hobby. Hunting disease. This patient uh, presents with the Westfall variant Huntington disease. Westfall, okay, which manifests as the presentation in youth with the associated Parkinsonism syndrome. So Westfall. That is associated with Parkinson's and Parkinsonism in symptoms. Okay, the family history of suicide is the relevance and may be associated with the behavioral uh, features of the disease and retain insight during the emergence of neurological symptoms. So, HD is inherited an in autosomal dominant pattern with the complete penetrance. The gene for HD is on the short term of chromosome 4, which contains CAG repeats trinucleotide repeat disorder data okay and healthy subject have uh, 11 to 34 repeats while patient with hd have more than 40. so paternal inheritance is associated with the anticipation increasingly earlier is of onset is subsequent generation okay Next question is, uh, what is the most likely diagnosis? Infection of the left-sided digression uh, ganglion, herpes simplex infection, left-sided acoustic neuroma, and atypical migraine, herpes juster infection. Okay, so a 22-year-old woman had to visit her GP feeling very distressed. She woke up uh, that morning with a sensation that her left cheek was feeling heavy. So left cheek feeling heavy, okay? Uh, she immediately saw herself in the mirror and was horrified to find that her face was twisted. She could not close her eye, left eye, and saliva drool from her angle of her mouth on the left side. She was extremely distressed with note that when she tried to smile, her mouth deviated to the right. There is some sense of giddiness and hearing is muffled on the left side her grandfather grandmother had had a stroke four weeks ago 
the only medication note is oral contraceptive pill. Here BP okay, pulse 90, and he's anxious. Patient her left ear rebuild a few tense vesicle in her left ear vesicles. Uh, so few tense vesicles in her left ear. There is a left-sided facial nerve palsy. So that is the most likely diagnosis. Uh, Harpy Jost. Harpy Jost. Harpy Jost. Harpy Jost. Harpy Jost. Okay. Mm, next question is Which one of the fall is the most likely cause for this presentation? Most likely cause subarachnoid, carotid artery dissection, subdural bleed, particle artery dissection, and basal artery occlusion. Okay. So a 33 year old man complains of severe neck pain while shooting at a rifle range. Rifle range shooting at Jamala. This was followed by shortly afterwards by vertigo, nausea, vomiting. A few hours afterwards, uh, she was brought by ambulance to the ED, AE, and having been found collapsed at home. GCS was 10 out of 15. Which one of the four is the most likely cause of her presentation? Subarachnoid hemorrhage, carotid artery dissection, extradural bleed, particle artery dissection, basal artery dissection, occlusion. Is it vertebral? Vertebral oh, artery possibility, mm -hmm. Beshi. Beshi, right. Mm -hmm. Neck pain, it's a vertebral artery. And if it's a carotid artery, it's a hernia syndrome. Mm -hmm. Hernia syndrome. Hernia mm -hmm. syndrome. And if it's a subarachnoid hemorrhage, it's a severe headache, strong-like headache. Hey, hey, hey. Eta to nice. So exclusion if have a college extra dural hotel to poor jai my head in the history take water. A basilar after I came both of China. Locked in syndrome. Okay. That put a question as she umbra. Um which investigation would be most useful in guiding treatment? So EEG, visual evoked potential, thyroid function test, overnight pulse oximetry, lumbar puncture. So 26 year old woman presents to the ED with a six weeks history of increasing headache. So woman increasing headache, six weeks, which have become dramatically worse over the past 10 days and she describes a constant pain behind her eyes that is unrelieved by the peristome. Initially, headaches would only appear in the morning, but now they are constant throughout the day. She has also noticed that her vision become occasionally blurred when she gets up in the morning and she has been feeling much more tired during the, during the day for the past month, but attributes to his uh, this to poor sleeping due to her headache. Her boyfriend feels that she is depressed. She has no significant past medical history of note. Her only medication is oral contraceptive pill. And uh, so, uh, which investigation would you would be the most useful in guiding the treatment? Kunta no, korbo. Lumbar 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 Right, you do oh, in BMI high 31. All everything <clears throat> is here. Okay, 138. So, question is uh, what diagnosis would best fit this clinical picture? So, herpes simplex encephalitis, coxsackie meningitis, meningococcal meningitis, pneumococcal tuberculosis. Okay, so protein 0.53, mild risk. Glucose, okay, well. Uh, glucose increased. Uh, glucose is raised, right, raised. Mm -hmm. That means uh, in case of herpes, glucose raised. Mom's raised. glucose raised, right. So a 21-year-old student at home during the holiday is brought to the emergency department by her parents. She was initially complaining of headache, photophobia, which has become more marked over the last couple of hours. She has vomited once and on examination has a fever 38 degrees Celsius, but no evidence of rash. 
She has enlarged cervical lymph nodes, but auscultation of the chest was cleared. Following the routine blood investigation, composite and scan of her head is performed, which excludes a mass lesion and assist that her uh, there was no significant risk in progressing the lumbar puncture. So mass lesion, assay, exclude a mass lesion and assess that there is no significant risk in progressing to lumbar puncture. So lumbar puncture was performed and CSF result is shown below. So appearance clear, mononuclear predominantly and what cell count 4.2, glucose 3.9 and plasma glucose 5.1. And protein 0.53. So, what diagnosis would best fit in this clinical picture? Herpes, coxsackie, meningeal, nemo, tuberculosis. So, mm, so, my lymph node is there. Cervical lymph node enlarges. Coxsackie, her. Is there any confusion or something like encephalitic feature is there? Hmm. Or simply meningitis only? For encephalitis, herpes simplex encephalitis is there. Should be there in confusion and altered behavior is there? No, no. There is nothing over here. Then go for that meningitis only, Kaksaki meningitis. Because without a, a confusion, we can't go for that encephalitis. There is nothing over here. Uh, like a patient is confused or something like that. Yeah. That Kaksaki and, only and that lymph node. Yeah. And lymph node. So, um, herpes simplex, uh, like, um, like, Caesar can buy air con kitchen feature attacky. Like, yeah, confusion, seizure, therapy, either intention, memory loss, memory loss, egg like kitchen. Nah, so the heart is hobby in a coxsacky coxsacky hobby. You're not hammered, they keep the CSF analysis is consistent with an aseptic meningitis, right? Coxsacky the aseptic meningitis, right? In the context of an acute febrile meningitis, menin meningitic disease process at, the, at this time of year. This is the most likely to be due to the viral meningitis. The most common etio etiologies include enterovirus like Coxsackie, herpes simplex, West Nile virus, mumps, and varicella juster. Other causes of aseptic meningitis includes uh, the molarets meningitis, spirochetes, let me syphilis or Lyme's disease, fungal infection, particular uh, partially, Treated bacterial meningitis, drug induced meningitis, NSAID, trimethoprim, and IG, IB immunoglobulin, leptomeningeal infiltration, large cell lymphoma, carcinomatous meningitis, treated of coxsacky virus, meningitis is supportive. Okay. Mm -hmm. 139. So, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? <laughs> appreciating. <laughs> Sure. I just offer like. I just offer like. No, no, I'm on a watch and question to talk about which of the following is the most likely diagnosis uh, um, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, uh, polymy polymyositis, myotonic dystrophia, uh, MAC adult disease. Uh, last one, take it to can you put it in fasciculation? Oh, benign uh, fasciculation. Okay, on exam, he uh. Eight, uh, 20 year old prof uh, professional cyclist present in the neuro neurological clinic for the review. He tell you that for the past few months, he has noticed a voluntary fasciculation predominantly on, uh, in his forearm and clubs. The, uh, this is particularly a problem after long cycling. 
on examination, he looks fit. He's uh, BMI 22. He has very well uh, demarcated and limb musculature. Neurological examination is entirely normal. Um, hemoglobin 13 uh, normal, WBC normal, platelate normal, uh, sodium normal, potassium normal, creatinine also normal, and ESR also normal. Uh, EMG uh, normal conduct, uh, conduction velocity, it are also normal. What will be the most likely diagnosis? Um, I think it's a benign fasciculation because uh, there is nothing. Hmm, there is nothing. Uh, mm. fasciculations are relatively common in patients who are undergone a period of very strenuous exercise and are also seen after a long uh, after an alcohol binge. The underlying cause is uh, benign fasciculation is unclear, but it is thought that the activity is primarily generalized by the distal motor exome. When uh, give that the fasciculation have occurred after exercise and he is otherwise well, the prognosis of this condition is entirely benign. Benzodiazepine is generally ineffective in the management of being fas uh, benign fasciculation, but the but carbamazepine and phenytoin are effective. In this case, however, pharmacotherapy is unnecessary. Okay. So. Uh Mm. Opening pressure uh, normal fluid. Mm. Uh, ninety percent lymphocyte. I viral lymphocyte. a positive. I'm a main question to put it. I'll let that is in the yes. view of the ever finding which of the which is the likely diagnosis in this patient tuberculosis, granuloma, uh, polyngitis, small cell lung cancer, leptomeningeal involvement, and cere uh, cerebellar uh, lymphoma. Bacterial tamra agi take exclude code the parijetic lymphoma lymph nota. I'm a put it a question. Okay. A 41-year-old Asian man is seen in the emergency department with a history of generalized headache, polyripsia, and polyuria. Prior to admission, he developed a sudden onset of weakness, affecting his left arm, legs, and had three gen uh, generalized seizures and wrote in the ambulance. His wife, uh, who accompanied him, said that he became increasingly confused in the last few days and was sleeping more often. He had history of hypertension treated with the benzo, uh, uh, benzo flu methazide and uh, has recently has a general practitioner complaining of bone pain affecting his back and knee. He smoked 30 cigarettes per day. On examination, he appeared confusion and dehydrated. Blood pressure is 110 by 70 millimeter of mercury. Pulse was 89 and temperature 37.8 degrees Celsius. There was evidence of right lower motor neuron, facial nerve, palsy, and uh, both eye red and inflamed. Fundoscopy and the remaining cranial nerve appears normal. On examination of the limbs, there was uh, left-sided hemiparesis with a left extensor plantar and a Briggs reflex. The reflexes on the right however, revealed a mute plantar with a decreased reflex at the ankle and the knee. The patient had a, uh, had a computerized tomography uh, scan of brain, which revealed a right anterior circular infraction. CT chest, hyaluronic lymphadenopathy with the fibrotic change throughout the both lungs. 
investigation hemoglobin uh, normal uh, wbc upper level mm. and platelet normal sodium is high and potassium is normal creatinine also high uh, urea uh, calcium is also high it a malignancy দিকে যাচ্ছে আমার মনে হচ্ছে ক্যালসিয়াম আবার হচ্ছে এই যে চলে গেছে দেখেন ডায়াবেটিস লং ফিল্ড Uh, opacification of the right heart border okay on examination he has uh, bilateral process uh, he has the bilateral proximal uh, weakness of his lower limb with uh, reduced reflexes and a normal sensation uh, <clears throat> although grip strength is reduced it improve with repetitive testing it is a good actor yeah got the grip it is lumbar মাসকুলার নার্ভ এখানে locked. they are brought to the emergency department where they are received by the orthopedic uh, sho the dislocated left shoulder is diagnosed and reduced under sedation there uh, there are no other injury identify and he is discharged with analgesic he present three days uh, later with in his, um, inability to abduct the arm on examination there is only 2 by 5 power 
in his shoulder and loss of abduction between 15 to 90 degree, 90 degree. Sensation is impaired over the outer aspect of the shoulder. Remember, neurological examination is normal. Normal. Mm -hmm. It supra has injury. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oh, it can again the bolts is the outer aspect of the shoulder. Shoulder catching into hoche, uh, axillary nerve hoche, abduction a problem. But it can it confusing corridor chilo je, je ponero take no big degree for junto. Hey, it ato sub is a suprescapular. This nerve arises from the posterior cord of the um, brachial plexus and su uh, supply teres minor and the delta muscle. It may be involved in this uh, dislocation of shoulder joint as in the present scenario. Fracture of the neck, the hip. Uh, humor and uh, the serum and the uh, yes. uh, serum or the vaccine induced neuropathy. Anatomy diagnosis depend on the recognition of paralysis of abduction of the arm between 15 to 90, washing of the deltoid muscle and a slight impairment of sensation over the outer aspect of the shoulder. Physiotherapy with uh, Continuous immobilization of the shoulder is the treatment of the choice. C six and C seven. Baki gula ki porbo. What about it? Okay. C six C seven radiculopathy leads to weakness and abnormal sensation in the distal arm and hand. Not seen in here. Long thoracic nerve. Tom ratu jani winging is scapula hoy. Ita toh ek chilo na. Um, like a serratus anterior muscle initial injury leading to uh, burning pain over the scapula, where the long uh, term winging scapula may be present. Uh, musculocutaneous nerve injury, lesion musculocutaneous nerve leads to winging of the flexion and um, spinous at the below. So, so uh, supination at the elbow. Uh, yeah. At the elbow. Supination. Mm, our, our the confusion is the suprascapular nerve injury leads to weakness of uh, supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscle. Pain associated with the nerve is variable from nothing to dull ache to the neurological um, amyotrophy. And it is amyotrophy, it is not a problem. It is a Demyelination has ring enhancements and motto. HIV patient hote pare progressive uh, which uh, which drug would be included in impair in empirical uh, therapy for this condition? Dexamethason, um, ceftriaxone, ceftriaxone, amphotericin B, sulfadazin, uh, pyramethacin, and uh, folic uh, folic acid, foscarnet and gancislovir. Up uh, by our last option, I'm taking acyclovir. Acyclovir. Oh, oh, acyclovir. Uh, 29 year old woman from uh, Malayu is admitted with a two week history of weight loss, fever, difficulty walking, abnormal. Malaysia, I Malaysia. In the um, accident and the emergency department, she is witnessed to have a focal seizure involving the right arm and the right. On examination, she has mild right-sided weakness, ataxia, and dysphagia. On the CT scan shows multiple ring enhanced lesion in the both cerebral, cerebral and uh, cerebral and cerebellar hemisphere. An HIV antibody test is positive. 
An MRI uh, brain shows confined uh, bilateral cerebral and cerebellar ring enhancement relation. The CSF finding unremarkable. It is the option uh, C, jeta, so sulfur diazine, pyrimethamine, and a poly polynic acid. It is the same thing. Toxoplasma. Toxoplasma. Porvo, Ieta? No, like Spanish. I think everybody got it. Yes. Mm, what is the most appropriate initial treatment to try in these cases? Uh, Selegiline 5 milligram BD combined L DOPA D uh, carboxylase inhibitor uh, preparation tightened up to according to the side effects and the response. Um, Primipexel, um, benztropin tritated up to maximum uh, 6 mg daily. Last option to read the patient. Propanol. Okay. A 55-year-old man, um, solicitory, is referred to the general medical clinic by the general practitioners. He has a six-month history of difficulty walking and writing, which started gradually and appears to be slowly worsening. He described bradykinesia uh, and that he has a difficult getting started when trying to get up from the chair or get out of the bed. He has not suffered any fall or um, experiencing any tremor. He has previously very active and playing squash to, uh, squash to evening per week, which he has, uh, he has had to stop doing as well as his job. He is still able to wash and rest, ablate uh, slowly. He has had no episode of uh, fainting, no cognitive symptom, no incontinence. Past medical history of the type uh, note is a type 2 diabetics for which he takes metformin. He is a lifelong non-smoker. On examination, he demonstrated bradykinesia uh, kinesia and a hypo hypomimia. Uh, what's this mean of hypomimia? I don't know. Hypoactive. Hypo what? <laughs> hypoactive, most probably. Oh, after, hypoactive, <laughs> hypomimia. Uh, he has a slightly stooped posture with Riri's arm swing, but once walking, uh, he appears to mobile well and a responsible speed and no obvious unsteadiness on turning. GCS 15 cranial nap examination reveals only reduced blinking but no uh, abnormality of eye movement. Tone is mildly increased in his uh, right arm with, uh, with some cogwheel, cogwheeling. Uh, he has a mild tremor on his right, right hand, uh, which increase when he asks to perform a task with his left hand. The reflex are bricks, but symmetrical and the plantar are down going bilaterally. There is no sensory abnormality. What is the most appropriate? It is camera combined L dopa decarboxylase inhibitor. Auto symptoms are very affected. There is a Parkinsonism. Okay. Okay. The next one is also big. Uh, which of the following is likely to be the most appropriate antibiotic choice? IV benzene penicillin, IV cipro, uh, cefuroxime, lenazolate. What is the last one? Cetromycin. Oral clarithromycin. Clarithromycin, okay. Okay, then uh, on, on examination, take a shurukuri na, tahole amande tahatari sort out hobe. On examination, he's pyrexic and drowsy with sign of meningism following a computer tomograph scan lumbar puncture is powerful hemoglobin uh, normal wbc high platelet normal sodium uh, normal potassium normal creatinine normal glucose also normal uh, protein 0.8 which is high cellular count uh, 37 and the glucose is uh, normal it to upper decay at 37 w it to be the camera the question the main question the um, a 26 year old man who uh, who was uh, beaten up a few days earlier present to the emergency department feeling unwell 
He says that uh, he has a punch and kick in his head and notice clear fluid leaking from his nose. This is a very important line in here because his fracture is leaking. So, he can suffer increasing drowsy and fever. It is antibiotic to get the lenazolate. MRS related. Morris, even it is blood brain cross correlation. Variant, variant cross correlation. It is So, should I go for the um, explanation? Yes. Okay, um, this patient has a cerebral spinal fluid leaking, which is suggest of a skull fracture. This could lead to enter bacteria via the fracture, gram positive organisms such as Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, uh, would be the most important microorganism to consider. Of the antibiotic choice given, IV lenazolid should be the most appropriate option. Vancomycin would be the alternative, although the central nervous system and penetration is variable where there is meningitis. Many yeah, poop. Okay. Um, what feature in her history uh, predict seizure recurrence on the uh, discontinuation of the therapy? Female need to high dose uh, anticonvulsant early age of diagnosis. Family history and tonic clonic seizure. A can get a direct question on the Kebole Diace. What feature in her history predicts seizure recurrence on discontinuation of the therapy? Money Amake, I'm ready to question now. Now put it all. A can take a kin to question Berkara Jabaji Jodi Amrajani Jacano, Kunjinista Mother Keho, Cherry can seizure, man therapy to discontinuation of the Corbona. It took into answer with tonic clonic seizure. It was a main question. The only show was like a direct question called over on the cake. The Uta Ashley Ama the question for us at the corner relation eight again. Tapper am like by question to put it. I made a jantam bully hot your boxy. Sorry to Nana Shumshane. It don't show me. I'm repeat. Dagn, which one is your main cotta? Raja Shuman Saraka class for the neck. A picky bolton. I mean, थेरापी you note a family history of cerebrovascular disease uh, with both uh, grandparents suffering stroke. At, um, at time of uh, diagnosis, uh, CT brain shows no structural abnormality and uh, in, um, interactical uh, electroencephalogram was unremarkable. She is concerned over overweight hair loss uh, that attribute her anticonvulsant therapy. She is uh, considered stopping her sodium valvoid. So, ekhane jeta bolse je or seizure free chilo she dui bochor age, but ekono she continue. But ekhon je question. Je ki jono or continuation ta amra korte parbo na. Mani kono history ta dekhe. Jodi or tonic clonic seizure thake, thale or কিন্তু আমরা মানে ট্রিটমেন্টটা ডিসকন্টিনিউ করতে পারবো না এটাই আর কি মেইন কনসার্ন ছিল এখানে যেহেতু پیشنটা কনসার্ন করছে যে সে ওয়েট গেইন করছে এবং তার হেয়ার ফল হচ্ছে তো আম ইট শুড আই রিড দিস ওয়ান দা এক্সপ্লেনেশন নো নিড ওকে 
I think. Okay, next one. Okay, the next question, uh, what treatment would you the most effective at reveal his symptom? Uh, most effective at reveal his symptom. Amitriptyline, barapamil, propanolone, high flow oxygen, and uh, last time barbari dekta Lithium. Lithium, okay. Mm. On examination, uh, on examination, he uh, he appears as he did. He is febrile and there is no meningism. He has uh, some watering of his eye and appears slightly erythematous, uh, and uh, there is no uh, there is a mild right tosis. Uh, clinical examination, otherwise unremarkable. Okay, I'm our main question. I can jai. Mm, headache question or possibility man faster headache a 32 year old woman present to the emergency department with a severe headache which describe a boring behind his eye he has uh, he has been getting similar recurrent episode over the last uh, past week two or three time parties a characteristic feature was a two or three times Mm -hmm. Each episode had lasted about an hour and uh, associated with the drooping his eyelid. Mani, Horna syndrome mm -hmm. uh, he has been awakened uh, th three hours um, at night. Uh, severe episode associated with what he described as nasal stiffness. He has a tired taking a paracetamol. So, headache, but the all, all uh, information go here. So, what treatment would be the most effective? hundred percent, a hundred percent oxygen. High flow oxygen. High flow oxygen. High flow oxygen. Soma tripton. Then, what is it? Soma tripton. Okay. For it, let's go. The cluster headache. Okay. Give the likely a clinical diagnosis which of the following observation would you best help distinguish uh, this syndrome from the myasthenia gravis involving of autonomic nervous system hyperreflexia marked response to uh, endorphin um, hyperreflexia uh, facilitated uh, facilitating down to the test to of uh, several muscle groups and the last one is involvement of the respiratory and spatial muscle. Okay. Can a main question about the kunta best help distinguish from myasthenia gravis? Okay. A 73 year old man uh, known to be suffering from a small cell lung cancer in uh, is brought to the general practitioner by uh, by his uh, daughter since he is concerned that her father is grown cons uh, considerably weaker and she feels that uh, he may not able to be cope at home alone at home on further questioning the patient does report problem with walking up his chair or bending his leg on dress in the morning and that has got progressively worse over the last few months he also report problem of a dry mouth uh, and a swallowing and um, as if the food get stuck in his throat. On examination, the patient mildly cachectic neurological examination uh, confirm a weakness of the muscle of his thigh and hip address uh, depressed lower limb reflex were also observed. Can I ask? Amar jeto mon hoche the to eton lumbar har possibility beshi jehetu small cell lung cancer ni ashche ar eton lumbar theke amra jodi myasthenia gravis ta ke alada korte chai tahole to involvement of autonomic nervous system ta amra dekhi ha eton lumbar eta ami hm hm etai autonomic nervous system porbo eta eton lumbar Explanation for book, I mean, like, what do you want to do? Okay, 
Eaton lumbar lumbar usually occurs associated with malignancy and uh, result from autonomic attack directly against the voltage gated calcium channel on the presynaptic uh, pre motor nerve ter um, terminal. BGCC antibody can be detected in the serum. Around uh, 50 to 70 percent of the eaten lumbar cases have identified malignancy. The majority of this is small cell lung cancer. Most patients with eaten lumbar present with a slowly progressive, progress, uh, slowly progressive proximal muscle weakness, particularly involved in the legs. Deep tendon reflex uh, are typically depressed or absent. They are uh, recovering following vigorous brief muscle act, um, activation uh, pathognomic. This is pathognomic. Like, um, the, the eaten lumbar amra differentiate kote chai, je, from the myasthenia gravis. Eaten lumbar is most of the time um, the reflex gula thakke na. Um, khub autonomic feature gula thakke. Javon, je, dry mouth thakke, tarpurta, apna, je, erectile uh, dysfunction manage e hoche, so much uh, important thing for the eaten lumbar. Hmm. Uh, we can differentiate with this because do it a tonic kachakachi feature are it a jeta hoche amra jani agar action in the clam j repetitive nap hoche conduction a increase hobby regular key hmm. okay thank you at a question kore after a class money a discussion to koi konta kore I'm a discussion to target take a daily 40 question. TSA 40 plus put the pulse of hello to be target take a 40 question for the din. Bangladesh at the Magarota take a sure curry, or to Sharabarta type of swag terrorism higher care at. Oh, take us to Nagarna American already that I eat a bunch of children of both silo and kids after quite a portion to continue. I've been duty go gone. Amar actually duty Nam Kichurina to a Juno Hotami Arki, Tatilam the car. Reki Purivish for us. I'm with the duty. I'm sorry, I'm the one on mute when Chilamon and our future last. Tell to Mojas and Pu up not to help. Nana, no, poor at Amar Batagachas, Buchin by Shongshire, Batagatigla Shambler, poor like a color on Alecta. It a take the duty night. But duty is very important. I have to say that 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 I have to say I I got to take Amra Kuri, fastest. Our first I got to take acta, but that a swagta, but shad about Tericum. I'm a forty by forty time to squeeze correct to Shamnaka. The holiday army up and the Kipotin catch cut the petam. I'm just saying, I'm not telling you that you have to do this. I'm just saying, if possible, then. It will be great for me. That's it. Jamalat Samar. Jamalat Albaki. 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 খাওয়া <laughs> 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 I said, I'm going to the Bangladesh. I'm going to go 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 to the 
আর ওই ওই সেশনটা কন্ডাক্ট করে হচ্ছে একটা আপু ইউকে থেকে তো ইউকে থেকে দেখা যায় উনার হচ্ছে হ্যাঁ এইজন্য আমি বুঝতে পারছি যে সকাল 6টা টাইম তো সো ইউকে তো বাংলাদেশ থেকে 6 ঘন্টা পিছনে সো মেবি শি উইল বি কমফর্ট মানে লাইক কমফোর্টেবল এট 12 টু স্টার্ট উইথ দা पढ़ी <laughs> फ्रमिंगम रिशुरेंस ओके Uh, a 32 year old woman uh, present to the clinic for the review she has had progressively worsening headache with onset their last thing at the night and uh, on uh, walking in the morning uh, for the last 6 months she is worried that she may have a brain tumor uh, she takes a combined oral contraceptive pill to the regular uh, her period but uh, is otherwise well Her BP one forty eight by eighty two, pulse sixty eight, and regular. She is overweight, BMI thirty three, um, but there are no other abnormal finding apart from the bilateral. This is the pap papilloma. The routine examination is unremarkable. It a CT CT venogram will be the answer. I hope it, this is like benign intracranial hypertension. Jeta. Agi ek sola sikhi ne. Apna ki thoche parsen. डिफरेंसियल डायगनोस डायगनोसिस diagnosis ki bolche ekhane brachial plexus due to hematoma uh, radio radiculopathy due to prolapse uh, disc uh, brachial uh, neuronitis uh, polio over the last one lines disease oh lines disease <laughs> <laughs> on examination the left uh, supra and infra is infra spinatus uh, rhomboid deltoid uh, biceps and uh, supinator were all 3 by 5 in power a small muscle of the hand were 5 by 5 uh, the left supra spinatus and biceps reflex were reduced uh, there was uh, no other deficit acha amra ashol jai ekhon a 26 year old laboratory technician underwent a vaccination for the hepatitis b prior to holiday in the thailand two weeks later while in bangkok uh, she developed a severe pain over her left shoulder and gradually subsided over the next week however on the return home she noticed increased weakness in her left arm for which he came to consult the neurological clinic ब्रैकेल 
ইনফ্লামেটরিপ্যাথি লেকুনার স্ট্রোক পার্শিয়াল অ্যান্টিরিয়র সার্কুলেশন স্ট্রোক তারপর পোস্টার সার্কুলেশন সিনড্রোম স্ট্রোক প্রোগ্রেসিভ্লিয়ার পালসি আনস্টিডিনেস অন হার feet uh, resulting a number uh, of fall uh, most recently she she has a uh, notice difficulty reading uh, and frequently lose her, lose her place while scanning the text okay uh, her husband who accompanying her says that uh, notice she is slow and doing things such as making a meal or walking to the uh, walking to the shops now needs accompanying for most tasks because of unsteadiness her past medical history including hypertension hypothyroidism osteoarthritis her regular medication benzodiazepine 2.5 thyroxine 75 on examination blood pressure is 100 by 65 and uh, it is lying and uh, any postural hypertension uh, hypertension as well past 66 uh, he has make she has marked dysarthria examination i movement uh, shows a normal uh, smooth pursuit and a hy- hypometric uh, vertical saccadius and evidence of um, square web jerk money uh, in stigma ache ki ekhane she also slow uh, is plastic tongue movement there is a marked neck rigidity with the um, Ret- uh, retrocolis and evidence of a symmetrically mild in this upper limb tone and the bradycarnesia. On examination, lower limb, there is symmetrically increased tone, bradycarnesia and variety scroll current mm. uh, and gait instability. Uh, sodium low, potassium normal, 
ইউরিয়া ক্রিয়েটিনিন থাইরক্সিন এন্ড টিএইচএস এটা আমার যেটা মনে হচ্ছে যে মাল্টি সিস্টেম কত থাকতো বিশের বেশি প্লাস হচ্ছে পনেরোর বেশি হ্যাঁ ভালোই আছে কিন্তু এটা ওরা প্রায়োরিটি দেয় নাই ওই ডায়াস্টোলিকটা তো যায় না ডায়াস্টোলিক তো তো মাত্র ডায়াস্টোলিকটা অনলি 10 10 তারপর যে কোনো একটা হইলে অনেক হ্যাঁ 180 অনেক পার্থক্য হ্যাঁ ওটা দেখেই তো আমরা গেলাম ওই দিকে কিন্তু আচ্ছা দেখি তো এখানে কি লিখছে আর এখানে ইয়াও তো লিখে না সুপ্রানিউক্লিয়ার পলসিবল আচ্ছা আচ্ছা এটা প্রথম রিডিং এর সমস্যা বলছিল হ্যাঁ ওই যে যে শিরি দিয়ে উঠতে পারছে না রিডিং করতে সমস্যা হচ্ছে এটা স্টেয়ারস এন্ড রিডিং হ্যাঁ স্টেয়ার আমি তো কোয়েশন পড়তে পড়তে আচ্ছা বয়সটা কত ছিল এটা হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ না না এটা ঠিক আছে আমি এটা বুঝছি কিন্তু মাঝে মাঝে এরকম হয় যে এটা আমি ওল্ড এজ এর পেশেন্ট এর হিস্ট্রি পড়ছি নাকি ইনিউক্লিয়ার গেস পালসি in addition she also has pseudo bulbar palsy as evidence of uh, dysarthria and is plastic tongue movement this finding would be the consist with uh, the uh, supranuclear palsy okay. msr ekbar ki likhse ekhane msr likhse younger hoto msr situation ta are more uh, likely to present with uh, these autonomia and cerebellar sign which are absolutely cerebellar syndrome and autonomic autonomic disturbance ডিসক্রাইবিংহেরিটেড মাইটোকন্ড্রিয়াল with with a prolonged admission to the psychiatric ward for the treatment resistance uh, depression he has a family history of migraine early onset cerebrovascular and ischemic heart disease on formal mental status uh, testing he um, performed poorly mri of the brain shows a subcortical infraction he has uh, classically risk factor of cerebrovascular disease কারণ এইখানে ফিচারে কিন্তু মাইগ্রেন আছে এখন আপনারা অন্য কেউ একজন পড়তে পারেন হ্যালো আমি পড়তেছি সমস্যা নেই 
সো ব্যাখ্যাটা হচ্ছে আপনার ক্যাডাসিক যেটা হচ্ছে সেরেব্রাল অটোসোমাল ডোমিনেট আর্টেরিওপ্যাথি উইথ সাবকর্টিক্যাল ইনফ্রাক্ট এন্ড লিকো এনকেফোলোপ্যাথি ফার্স্ট রিকগনাইজড অ্যারাউন্ড 20 ইয়ার্স এগো ইট হ্যাজ স্টিমুলেটেড গ্রেট ইন্টারেস্ট ইন দা স্ট্রোক কমিউনিটি এন্ড ইনক্রিজিং নাম্বার অফ কেসেস ইজ আর রিপোর্টেড ক্লিনিক্যাল ফিচারস এজ আর ডেসক্রাইব অ্যাবাউট মাইগ্রেন উইথ অরা থাকবে এন্ড ফলোড বাই মাল্টিপল ইনফ্রাক্ট more disturbance cognitive impairment the migraine with aura followed by multiple infarct and more disturbance cognitive impairment diagnosis based on the history and imaging support by genetic testing and electron microscopy of the skin biopsy there is no consensus of on the treatment prognosis poor with severe dementia often evident uh, 20 years from the first symptoms okay what a uh, what gene involvement sorry gene involvement what is the name of that gene don't know notch n o t c h notch n o t c h o okay and 13 or ekum ki jano arekta number o ache notch er bhitore hmm er on likhane hmm hmm bhule geshe so amar mone oto important na Okay, next question, Ashamra. So, uh, which of the following uh, following risk factor is related to increase the incidence of idiopathic intracranial hypertension? Lambda eta deathly parvo. Vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Oh, sorry, sir. Vitamin A. Retinoids. 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 So, next question, Ashi. One hundred fifty-six. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial step uh, given in the clinical picture? So lumbar puncture, CT, XOL, ita, IV amputation, acyclovir, and dexamita. So a uh, intravenous IV drug abuser sustained an open head injury. Is admitted overnight for observation. The next morning she appears to have the recovered and is discharged. A week later she is readmitted with the fluctuating heart uh, neurological sign. Blood results show the neutrophilia with raised CRP and fundoscopy reveal bilateral peripheral and bilateral extensive plantar response. there is the erythema and evidence of frank at the frank pass over the original the original left sided scalp wound she is mildly confused which of the following is the most appropriate initial step to give his clinical picture tell amra ki korbo ct tomography ha ct korte hobe ct tomography head head injury and gallo glout and things ha the raised white cell count uh, just, sorry the raised um, white blood cell count and crp clearly suggest of the infection uh, the fluctuating neurological sign and suggestive of an expand, uh, expanding cerebral mass and such as in the abscess or hematoma for this reason the initial treatment step of choice is ct scan with contrast abscess takte pare she jonno acha which must be carried out before the consideration of the lumbar puncture if an abscess is to, to demonstrate on the ct scan then a neurological review should be obtained the uh, patient or the patient would not uh, patient also need uh, broad spectrum antibody therapy following the blood culture and bacterial cases is by far the most likely source of the central nervous system infection here staphylococci are the particularly associated with the post traumatic case of intracranial infection but many many possible causes organism exist so hematoma hoye geche hemorrhage hoye geche ene um question ta ki oh, uh, so what is the most appropriate management uh, at this stage most appropriate management tell tell ki dibo amra well mdtp mdtp eto mdtp eto mdtp eto labital cystic bp labital eta to eta howar possibility beshi I will have it. I will be P one forty. One hundred forty. अच्छा patient के क्या से patient के झमला की imagine जो weakness of left side of the body which upon the waking from the sleep. अच्छा visual field loss अच्छा fluctuating consciousness आसे and previously well and हो जाए hypercholesterolemia आसे. So B P को तो तो किसे बोलूँ मैं? B P अच्छा. ये जो B P. B P है B P आसे तो. So वो इतने हो गए हैं. ये तो हम लोग इसी लाइन में चलो. 140 140 hmm. 140 acha pore question ashi so ekhane jete ori babare koto pore question 
uh, what is the most likely causes uh, for this patient's symptoms? Hypo, pseudo dementia, ventricular dementia, sporadic, or multiple sclerosis. Yes, take a judge. Yes, are ek to be she So abnormalities in mode. Yes, is this a group value? Yes, it's a normal So a 60 year, 60 year old man is referred to neurology clinic with a three month history of progressive forgetfulness, hesitation, and speech problem. Thermony course ball sporadic development. Hmm. Uh, it had working uh, as a shelf uh, striker in a supermarket, but has recently been made uh, redundant uh, because he, ha he has become increasingly clumsy with the items. Since then, he has been somewhat low in mode. His past medical history includes hypertension for which he treated with antihypertensive drugs, hypothyroidism with the thyroxine. So vital sign, normal blood pressure, okay, pulse, okay, and he is one to low his mode has marked expressive dysphagia with more limited repeated uh, receptive component. The other minimal state examination is scored 21 out of 30. Deficiencies is recall orientation and uh, basic uh, visual or constructive task. There is a left uh, palm of mental reflex, peripheral nerve examination reveals marked generalized myoclonus uh, in upper limbs in the inter intention tremor. Are you like the other diagnosis generator? So, no, are you like when I tell my cruise Jacob syndrome? Was that you? My clone has a dementia. I will show about it. Oh, but so do you think for a dick? It's for a dick. Are you a new variant? A high smoke man age 20, 25, 30 year. Come age it young patient. Day. Young patient. Day. So, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? So, Neisseria, viral, cryptococcal, pneumococcal, tuberculosis. CT scan obstructive hydrocephalus passive, lymphocytic picture assay, MSL 700, glucose 2.4, okay, or the protein race. Hmm, blood glucose 5.6. Bacterial heart possibility on a protein basic. Hmm. Lymphocyte count. A 24-year-old man is admitted to the, by the ED. He was he was found in the street acting in a uh, postillary way. He has one previous admission of heroin overdose, heroin overdose, okay, uh, and has been living in the in a hostel. According to the hostel manager, he has suffered a chronic cough over the past few months and appears to have been losing weight. So, Termini, uh Half J to a tuberculosis in the weight loss as a weight loss that perhaps have not protein tonic, beshi high lymphocyte money, our hoche obstructive hydrocephalus. I'm going to say to Mono Hoche more beat to the tuberculosis. Hey, it's a hobby, confused and drowsy. So, it's a hobby now, and a bakira after the ball in Bakigula sort out corn. I'm going to say to Mono Hoche. But can you Nigeria na can you viral na viral hote hole to amader ke glucose ta beshi hote hobe shei khetre amra viral ta exclude korte pari cryptococcal meningitis e onek shomoy jeta hocche immune compromised patient jara oder khetre cryptococcal ta hor ar edik diye kintu pneumococcal meningitis khub common ekta bacteria pneumococcal ar hocche nigeria meningitis most common cause for the like Meningitis hard could common data cause which is a pneumococcal and Nigeria, but Amra cano the Hale Hoche account tuberculosis bolsi. So it can go to Bolajeta Haja. Meningitis with rest and I can attack by neutrophil. Neutrophil is Nigeria. Virus to Amra than a confusion to experience with Thagi and Cafalitis develop for a harpy simplest day. The let's check the runner about the lymphocyte count Thak the part. It all checked. Cryptococcal immunosuppressive patient, especially HIV, in the positive tag be lymphocyte tag be equaloki. Nimukal to jarb harpies level is just like a cotapolbe. Yes, I flu like symptom I get a tag the parim. A TB like an AC TB. Okay, next, Ashi, last question from today. Uh, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Cushing disease, eton lumber, GPS, hypothyroidism, myasthenia gravis. I can remote negative and a negative takti per negative so much yes at 35 are uh, okay so 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 first lead to progressively increasing weakness they say money weakness but mm -hmm. repeated uh, the cleansing offer first 
इविनिंग Uh, to TD in her kitchen, examination BP okay, pulse okay, regular. There is obvious bilateral ptosis. Uh, when you ask her to look up at your finger, uh, she fatigues after ever ever ten seconds and can longer fix her guess. There is a bilateral upper and lower limb weakness and reflexes are unremarkable. So shop mila ya amader diagnosis hoye gaye sir. Hmm. Masteni. Hmm. Masteni. Masteni gravis. Masteni gravis. ओके सो 